All right, so I am working on assembling the Cobra Engineering um, head cooling mod for the four valve motors. Um, James builds this, I mean, this thing is beautiful. Um, it's got, he's got this option now. It comes with all the four fittings and everything. Everything is nice and O-ringed, Teflon sealed. Beautiful, nice O-ring. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just uh, getting ready to assemble this hose. It, uh, this hose does require some assembly, no big deal, pretty simple. Um, I've got one of the fittings in the vise already. So just gonna get this thing assembled real quick and then I'll show you, how, show you guys how this thing goes in the car. So here we go. These fittings are pretty assemble or pretty easy to assemble. You take the end of the fitting, unscrew it, screw it onto the end like that. And then a uh, little silicone spray. I like to use a little silicone spray on the threads of the male side of the fitting, just to make sure we're not galling the threads as we drive this on. Well, this is pretty simple. So take the end, insert it. You'll actually feel it go into the hose and then just start rotating. I normally like to hold on to the fitting and the hose. That way it's not pushing as you're driving this fitting on. Take one of your uh, AN wrenches and then get her snug up against the face of the male side. You'll know when it's good because it just stops. And I mean, as you can tell, that's stuck pretty good. So there you go. That's one assembled fitting, pretty easy. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side and then uh, I'll bring you guys over to the engine so you can take a look at me assembling it on the engine. That's really the more fun part, all right? All right, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish up installing this Cobra Engineering um, head cooling mod from James. It's, it's a beautiful piece, it's all billet aluminum. It's got nice four fittings like I mentioned in the last video. Um, I got the line assembled, I mean, pretty, pretty easy, pretty basic stuff. Uh, comes with all the brackets and everything. I just went ahead and put some dielectric grease on all the O-rings just to make sure that it's all nice and lubed up. I cleaned this out with a little Scotch-Brite just to pull out any of the old residual bullshit in there. Um, yeah, let's see how this thing goes together. I've actually no idea exactly how it goes, but it seems pretty self-explanatory. Gonna assemble this side first, put this I don't know what this is called, but we'll call it a head fitting. Screw the head fitting on. Oh, wow, this is pretty large. Grab my other. Had to grab my other AN wrench. This is dash 16. So you want to get that in there and tight. That's good to go. It's installed like that. If that's the bracket right there. Yeah, so it's a pretty, pretty nice design. Uh, the bracket just slips right in there and it retains it, keeps the pressure on it so that way uh, it doesn't come out of the head. So get this thing installed. Don't drive it in too far like I just did. There's a groove right before the nut that you want to hit, and then it uh, goes right in. So you want to be on the outside or the inside collar of the of the actual nut, and then a uh, couple couple ten millimeter bolts. Thank you. 
sure before I move on and check these fittings. James had them pre-installed, so I assume they're good and tight. Yep. Okay. Those are good and tight. That's good and tight. Now we can move on to the other side. Same thing. Uh, this uh, 90 degree elbow fitting goes in here. It's got a, it looks like a Teflon seal with an O-ring. I mean, it's really nice, but it's a, it's a swivel fitting, which is really awesome. Because it allows you to position it kind of where you need it. So even when you tighten it down, it should still swivel. I know I could probably use a mallet to make this easier on myself, but you know what? Don't feel like getting up. And another bracket. go and now it's really uh just about making sure you get this line installed and it's out of the way all right so i took a, a break real quick and took a look at some uh photos online that james had just to make sure that i wasn't uh, making this line too short but i did realize that i had the line too long so again that was my first time putting this thing together i hadn't even mocked it up so uh, i went ahead and shortened the line and now it should work perfectly it should clear uh, the bell housing and stuff, but be nice and low and nice and tight. I did also add in this line because I realized that this line is also retained by the same bolt on the driver's side head here, and it just makes it easier to install now uh, while I got this off. So the rest of this is pretty easy. Just gonna screw this in on this side. Screw it on this side. Grab my wrench. These are AM fittings, so they don't require a bunch of torque, but yeah, just get them snug. Um, I am waiting on one final fitting for this right here. A uh, little miscommunication between me and James. He thought I wasn't going to run a heater. I am going to run a heater. So uh, James is sending me a um, an ORB to barb fitting. That way I can dry this thing on. But I wanted to put it on here. So that way you guys get an idea of what this thing's going to look like. And I'll show you here a little closer. So this is the finished product. Cut to the length that I'm happy with. That's how it is installed. James does a really nice job. I mean, it's a beautiful fit and finish. Again, the passenger side. Yeah, that's it. Easy peasy.